Oh my god! I can't believe one of the kids died! How did we not- I did not see him struggling! Oh my god! Hey Simulators, it's Deligracy here with part 20 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Twins. Lionel is about to age up. It's his birthday, so I thought today we would host a dinner party because it's Saturday. Um, I just thought that would be good. Arya's off to work, so she'll probably miss it. But when I say dinner party, probably a lunch party. <laughs> Actually, we'll keep Laurie hungry. So we might get, um, let's replace that. I might get Niles up to start cooking and making heaps of awesome stuff. And then we can just put it all out on the table and people can all sit down and have a big lunch for his birthday. So we'll just cook some fancy, fancy stuff. So let's get maybe some lobster thermidor. And I feel like this would, of course, all be organized by Esmeralda. Make him cook up a storm. And maybe Esmeralda would cook him the cake. Uh, oops, I always do that to bake a cake. Um, so we'll get her to do strawberry cake. Maybe let's do the gourmet cake. Uh, although I feel like that's could be their wedding cake. Oh well, we'll just do a practice run anyways. Can both be cooking. This is why we have two stove tops. Always handy. <laughs> Niles would so take a picture of his shrimp cocktail. Oh, oh, excellent. She's finished the cake. Add birthday candles so no one eats. Ew. Oh, it's the ugliest cake ever. What's wrong with this cake? It's okay. It's white, it's black, and it's cake. <laughs> it's like brown. Funny. Oh, she's sick. Better eat, um, better make a special. Oh, <gasps> gummy bear pancakes. No way. Yes. Gummy bear pancakes. I don't care if she's sick. She's making gummy bear pancakes. No, you are not eating that. That is not for you. You know what? We should just put them in his inventory so nobody eats them. There we go. We should have done that to begin with. Excellent. I will put that in her inventory. Um, did he make the baked Alaska? No, he didn't, did he? Party size. Let's go, let's go. We'll get a caterer too, but I doubt the caterer is going to um, make much for us. Oh, he's feeling very inspired. Why is that? Just from cooking? Well, that's always a good thing. I want to see what gummy bear pancakes look like. Oh my gosh, I feel like pancakes so badly right now. <sighs> Maybe I should make pancakes for lunch. Okay, so dirty surroundings. Put these guys in a bad mood. We'll just clean up a couple of things. Lionel's like, guys, there's no need to cook all of this for me. I just want a casual dinner. Joke about nacho cheese. <laughs> oh. What does gummy bear pancakes mean? That doesn't look like... Oh, it's just pancakes with gummy bears on them? Oh, and she only made them for herself. This looks really good. Alright, Niles, you can go to sleep. Esmeralda's like, okay, go to your dungeon. That's not your room. It's really sad that Esmeralda bought this house and she gave Niles the downstairs part. For his bedroom. No wonder he doesn't like her very much. Like he's still in love with her, but look at this, their friendship's pretty low. He's losing he's losing the love. Incoming friend Adelaide Cardwell would like to talk. Well no, but we will we will start our birthday party in a second. We might just get rid of that. Put the boy's little violin in the corner. And the bar said make drinks. Did we have a stereo in here? I don't even know, but we'll need one. Let's put a nice stereo with some music on. Just, just put it over here. Whoops. Whoops-a-daisies. 
There we go. We'll probably put classical music on. Because that's what Lionel would like. So let's plan a social event and we'll do a dinner party, aka lunch party. Turn on some classical. God, she looks terrible. <laughs> oh dear. That's Meralda. I was sick. Okay, so dinner party. Oh, birthday party. I think we'll just do a dinner party because he wouldn't want too much attention on him. Okay, so we'll make both him and Esmeralda the hosts. And then our guests are going to be, obviously, Niles, Arya Thorne, Max, Laurie. Even though Arya's at work, we'll still invite her. Adelaide. Oh, gee. Oh, Addison, Bella Goth, Cassandra Goth. We like Juliet, so invite her. Jay Huntington. How many more can we invite? That's it. Oh, I like Nina Caliente more than Don Lothario. So it's basically all going to be beautiful women. Oh, Ernest Rogers can cater some more. Excellent. Uh, no, she won't skip work. Woo, Laurie. Oh my God, Laurie looks awesome. And she's so hungry. I don't blame you, girl. I love her bun on her head. Okay, so let's get some stuff out onto... Should we have it? We should have another table where we put all the food on, like a banquet table. And then I'm assuming people will just sit at the dining table, but just to be safe, we'll put the banquet table there. They can get their food. Should probably put some flowers on there because it will look pretty. Uh, we want something impressive. Maybe these ones. Yep, pop those on there. And then we'll just get from his inventory, we've got the... How do you know what's... Okay, so that's just a single serve. We have lobster thermidor. Baked Alaska. I mean, it's pretty impressive, really. And then we'll put the cake on there, which should not be eaten yet because there's candles on it even though th that looks pretty bad there we are how lovely don't put that there i think laurie would just get straight into it i know we should call everyone to the meal have people arrived yet thank you guest for coming that's nice I think these guys might be beginning to come over. Oh, we should invite Laurie's boyfriend. James, invite to hang out. Oh, we'll get Miranda to hang out too. Get as many people as possible. William, why not? Okay, have people arrived yet? I've got a couple. Okay, here they come. All right, why, no, why are you looking like you're in such a bad mood? All right, Esmeralda will call everyone to meal. Okay, everyone's just going to come in now that they've been called to meal. Lovely. Hopefully they all sit at the table. <laughs> oh, awkward. Laurie was probably like, no. I think Esmeralda would have been like, I'll sit at the head. And Laurie's like, no, I'll sit at the head. She's like, mm-hmm. Ain't nobody gonna take over this. Oh, this is so civilized. That's so nice. I wish more of them were in their proper clothes. Oh, awesome that our chef man's here. What's this? What did he make us? Taco casserole? Pfft. God, we make way better stuff than he does. Where are the others eating? <laughs> Did they have... Oh, look who's here all by herself. Arya looks so pretty. We'll get... um. We'll get her boyfriend, Jace, who we really don't like. Oh, Jace is already here. <gasps> and who is this? Stranger at the door. Uh 
fork a chooser. Gaba. She's like, who are you? And this, everybody, uh, is Addison Costa, uh, who, if you may have noticed, is Ari's mother. So that is who she is for you guys who have not had any idea who she is. There we go. But we're just going to let her come in as a surprise guest who's arrived. And Lionel's going to be like, what? <laughs> Laurie's wondering what the go is, maybe. Get Laurie to say hey. And Esmeralda, Esmeralda probably doesn't know who she is, so cheerful introduction. Um, but we might have Lionel age up just now. And blow out his candles. I don't even know where he's gone. Oh, they're all hanging out in the theater room. It's pretty good. Oh my gosh, I forgot to have my tea again. Oh no. Before he blows out his candles, I have to get my tea. Okay, you guys, it's all right. I have my tea. Lionel's about to age up. He's just blown out his candles. And he's really badly made cake by Esmeralda. Okay, everybody cheers to Lionel aging up. Mm. I have green tea today. Okay, let's see. We're back to it. Yay! Oh my god! He's old! He's an old man! Lionel... Always looked like an old man there. Oh, wow. He's an elder. That's so crazy. He looks great, though. He looks really good. <laughs> At a wedding topper. Oh, God. Laurie's a bit occupied right now. Should she still go to work? What? Paid time off. She ain't gonna let um, Esmeralda have everything. He pretty much looks exactly the same. If we change his hair back to the reddy color, he will be exactly the same. Whoa, look at everyone meeting the new girl in town. Esmeralda, I feel like, trying to figure out something. She's like, hmm, they look kind of similar. These girls look very similar to this lady. <gasps> oh my god, it's their mother! So now she becomes really manipulative. I reckon she's figured it out though. Especially these two, when you put them side by side, they look very similar because they do have her proper genetics. Um, but anyways, Esmeralda will not want those girls to know who their mother is, I don't think. And she does not want Lionel to see the mother either. But let's go gush about his partner to his ex-wife. Um, to let her know how happy he is. Oh, he's avoiding it. He does not want to go. Come on, Lionel. This green tea is so nice. I'm feeling very zen today, so I thought I may as well have green. Hmm. I still have to get that blueberry shortcake one that you guys were telling me about. Oh my gosh, that's so awkward. They're meeting for the first time again. He was feeling very flirty, but not so much anymore. Friendly. Uh, have a... We should go... S he should give her a hug, at least. He hasn't seen her for like 16 years. 18 years. <gasps> Look at that sad face. He's like, should I tell them? <laughs> Maybe not this time. I don't know. I think you guys do it. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's not happy. Esmeralda is not happy at all. Arya seems confused. This is like the most awkward birthday party ever. I feel like Esmeralda would be nice to her, but not really want her to... <gasps> no, Esmeralda would gush about her partner. She's like, he's the best. I love him. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
talk about best be enticing to Lionel in front of his ex-wife. Oh, did you see that look? <gasps> She's not happy. <gasps> look at that. Very unhappy. He's like, I should get going now. This seems awkward. I don't think the girls have realized who their mom is yet. I don't know. I don't know, but I think um, we'll thank some guests for coming, or have they all left already? We'll thank a few guests. Can we thank them or not really? I don't know how to thank them. Oh, thanks, Mr. Chef Man. He's actually doing a really good job of cleaning up. Usually they don't. And he made a few other really nice things. He made grilled cheese. Ambitious lesson. Arya should go make out with Jace. Recite love poetry. Oh. Should do that. I feel like these two would want to talk in privacy. Seduce? No. Or maybe he would fall in love with her again. Let's try to cheer her up and maybe go like out over here together where it's private and they have like a private conversation. Go over here. Max Lofton. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Max Lofton died? Oh my god. No way. <gasps> what? Oh my god. I can't believe one of the kids died. How did we not? I did not see him struggling. Oh my God. <gasps> I mean, this is a serious issue having open water in houses. Um, This is why like you're not allowed to do that. Oh my God. And he died like looking through that secret window that's down there probably. Oh no, there's no secret window in that part. That's the other one. Oh my God. That is just like the most tragic thing ever. Yeah, you should probably get going now. I cannot believe this. Niles! Niles is asleep and he's going to be so angry at Esmeralda for letting their kids die. Oh, oh my god. I cannot believe that. That is so tragic. Oh my god. And the chef just farted, but I don't find that funny right now. He would be furious. This is like the end of their friendship together. So Esmeralda's probably going to have to kill off Niles. <gasps> oh, and now he goes... He sits there because he misses his son that he was never allowed to get to know. Okay, that's weird. They're remembering their son by getting into their bathers. You know what he should do? He should like threaten to to tell Lionel about everything. If he if he is not allowed to leave with his only son, he should criticize Wuru techniques as well because it's pretty bad. Mock outfit. He's just he's like, how could you do that to our child? I think he should say. Like, if you don't let me take away our only son left and let me get to know him, I will tell Lionel everything. So she probably needs to kill off Niles too now before he tells someone. I mean, no one else is going to notice what they're talking about because they're so preoccupied. Oh, Lionel is sick. He's run down. He's like, what's happened to my life? 
like I had this child. He thinks it's his child, but he's probably always felt like it wasn't really. So he's just gonna go to bed. It's so sad. It's really sad. Oh, Niles will just sit here remembering his only his son he never got to know he does have another son but and poor little thorn maybe this is what makes thorn evil because his little brother like his twin brother died his twin brother max died so he then becomes evil laurie's got her shades on she's that's nice of her she's trying to comfort niles by Paying remembrance by sitting there in their bathers. Maybe don't complain about your own problems. I mean, Laurie's nice. Maybe she can try and brighten his day. And I think Esmeralda, who's very sad, mourning from witnessing the death of a loved one, she doesn't even like kids, but look at this. She's feeling flirty spouse from jealousy. Esmeralda's spouse was flirting with another. Have they been doing this behind her back? And she's cleaning to make herself feel better. See, even Esmeralda, who's evil, feels bad sometimes. We should get her to work on that plant. Um, downstairs, see how that's coming along. Oh, gosh. Water with tears. Oh my god. <laughs> oh gosh, that's like really funny. She waters her murdering future cow plant with tears. So that means gonna be an extra evil cow plant. That would be awesome. Oh yes, we can harvest all. Awesome, so we can continue this. Well, the plant's looking very good. Okay, what do we have now? We have... Bluebells? Wait. Yes, we have dragon fruit. And we need to plant that straight away. I just want to... Is this still a strawberry plant? What is this? Okay, it's a spliced plant. There we go. It's like she's burying her son, but it's... A plant. Ooh, that was really morbid. Ooh. Ten garden water with tears. Kia, this can be like the family grave. Oh, God. And uh, we'll... Maybe under this tree's nice. Like there. Although then they have to look out the window at it, which is not very nice. We'll make it over here. There we go. Little area for him, a remembrance area. It's a bit like the goths, isn't it, this house? I need a drink of tea. That was just so stressful. Okay, so how's the plant going? I guess in the next part we'll be able to splice them together, which will be really exciting. I might just get her to fertilize the plant a little bit so it grows really, really well. Um, we still have a fish that we can help fertilize it with. And, um, should harvest and take a cutting of this snapdragon. Anyways, uh, that's the end of this part. Um, let me know what you think Niles should do next. Should he run off with his kid? Or should he hang around for a bit longer until Esmeralda kills him off? Let me know. But anyways, hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will speak to you soon.